all the young gays are into it, but also all the old gays are into it, which is disgusting to me. It was, like I said, it was early in the morning. I never have done this this early in the morning, this far into my career, let's say. So we met up at this park. Oh my God. And I was like, excuse me, your dog? No, I, I don't do dogs, what the fuck? Boom, I hear a real loud click. I'm like, huh? And it's a goddamn gun, bitch. Today, I'm going to be talking about my grinder horror story. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like everybody has a grinder, tinder, horror story. Um, whether that be gay people or straight people, they all have some spooky story that they have to tell. And today, I'm going to tell mine. I've only told how many people? Like three people this. I've told my mom, so like if she sees this. She won't be that disappointed. <laughs> I want to talk about this because um, I want to say a few things about Grinder and the gay community and all that stuff at the end. Um, and also, I just really want to talk about this because I like been thinking about this for a long time now. Um, and also, I have a few other story times if you want to go watch them. Um, they're in a playlist called uh, Stoner Story Time, but I'll link a link in the description below. So if you want to go watch them, go ahead. Um, and why I call them that is because I smoke before I talk about it. So before I talk about this, I'm going to smoke. <laughs> um, and yeah, you can't smoke on YouTube because they'll demonetize you, which is stupid. So, while I smoke, enjoy this picture of 12-year-old me scared to show my body for a picture. Enjoy! Okay, let's get into this. Before I start, like and subscribe for sure oh my god okay this story takes me back to 2016 2016 at that time i was 18 years old so i was old enough to do all this um so please don't you know because i understand that you know okay so <laughs> it takes me back to when i was 18 years old um it was Around the time I like found out about Grindr because I did not know about Grindr till I was literally in my it was like 17 18 like in between 2015 2016 or 18 It's when I or not 18. Oh my god 2016 2015. Yeah, okay, my bad <laughs> is when I found out about Grindr. So I was like, okay Okay, I'm into you know a young gay they're into it you know all the young gays are into it but also all the old gays are into it which is disgusting to me i mean it's for all gay people all ages whatever but you know um when you live in a small town like this ooh, ciao. <laughs> okay so i got grinder um and like i said i was really it was really new to me i've never well i've met people on there before but this was like a new experience for me like i said um so we get to texting and he's like hey and i'm like what's good and so we were texting for like all morning because it was early in the morning it was at least like five o'clock in the morning from five to seven we were talking because i just like to either get to know someone or make sure they're real first before i go meet with them on grinder but I just want to make a public statement. I have not used Grindr since like 2000, 
like last year. I haven't used Grinder since like last year because I, every time I use it, it's just a, either a bad experience or just weird. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I haven't used Grinder since last year. So, we were talking from four to seven. And like I said, I just wanted to get to know him, make sure he was real, see if he like, like showed signs of like a catfish or like whatever. But he sent me pictures, I sent him pictures, the whole get up, okay? He was real, it wasn't a catfish, so I was like, okay, let's do this. We met at a park in my city and um, it was, like I said, it was early in the morning. I never have done this this early in the morning this far into my career, let's say. <laughs> and it was just early and it was bright outside and I've just never done it like that. It was always dark because I would go and meet them. I would never have them come to the person I was living with house. That was just too, A, too risky, B, just too weird, okay? It's just too much. So I would always meet them at a park or whatever. So we met up at this park. He was waiting there already, like, I seen him sitting on the table, the bench table, like there was a um, picnic bench or whatever, and I walked up to him. <laughs> oh god, this is, oh god, this is taking me back, for real. Um, I walked up to him, and we just went behind this shed, I don't really know what it was, it was like, it's weird, I, I've never seen it open, like, for as long as I've lived over there, I've never seen that open, so I'm just gonna call it a shed. So there was a shed, we went behind it. There was a really busy street right here. Really busy street right here. And we were behind the shed. Okay, the shed's right here. And the street's right here. We were behind the shed. But his, the way that his demeanor, he was really forward and really like, okay, let's just do this. But this is not a rape story, okay? I don't want to offend anybody. This is not a rape story. It's not raped at a park. I'm so, I'm so sorry. That's not funny at all. And I'm not laughing at the rape comment. I'm saying this is not a rape story, okay? So please do not think it's a rape story. So, I get on my knees. Boom. <laughs> no, so <laughs> I start doing, you know, what you do when you have a hookup. Um, and... God, it was just so crazy. Like, <laughs> he told me before we met, he was like, I'm gonna bring my dog because I don't feel comfortable. And I was like, excuse me, your dog? No, I, I don't do dogs, what the fuck? So like, he was bringing his dog to protect him, but I just, dogs don't, me and dogs just, we don't have good chemistry. I have another story time about that, okay? <laughs> but me and dogs just, we just don't click. So I was just like, no thanks. Um, and he was like, okay, well, that's fine. And I was like, it better be fine because I'm not doing dog. Like, what did he think I was gonna do? Me, rob him, like what? So it was just wild. <laughs> it was just wild. So, okay. I was doing the do. His pants were to his ankles at that point in time. And boom, I hear a real loud click. I'm like, huh? And it's a goddamn gun, bitch. I'm like, what? So, huh? <laughs> a gun? And he was like, oh, my bad. And picked it up and put it back in his pocket. Bitch, what? I mean, I, I, I think people are probably like, shouldn't you have like reacted a little bit different? No, I kept going like, and we did the thing and we went our separate ways. But some people are probably like, that gun could have been to kill you. Like a whole bunch of different things. But like, I was just like, oh my God, I was shook. But like, it was funny to me at that moment in time. I was like, what? A gun? And then when I got home, I was like, yo, he really had a gun with him, like, damn. Oh my God. So, it, <laughs> I tried to keep this, uh, no, I didn't try to keep it scary because, I mean, it is Halloween time, but that is a horror story, okay? Like, that's just crazy because anything could happen, Any, anything, seriously. So that's why I really wanted to make this story time because these young gay people, like, younger than 18, younger than 14, or not 14, 
like a look like between 18 and 14 are going out and doing these cr in incredibly crazy incredibly incredibly terrible crazy things with these older gay men even gay men in their 20s and do it just ruining their whole lives okay so that's what i really wanted to say like if you're younger than 18 please don't use grinder and go meet up with these old men that is just not cool at all okay and i noticed that ever since i started using grinder and i started using it when i was 17. so i'm just saying but other than that th that that was crazy it was crazy right um yeah let me know if you guys have any story times of horror story times with tinder grinder uh what's the other ones match i don't i don't know like what's the other ones i have only used tinder and grinder for real but i guess that's it make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know how you feel about this whole that whole situation because that was crazy for me at least um but yeah Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.